Okay, what you're looking at here is my indoor classroom setup aquaponics unit. I use this in the classroom to teach symbiosis and nitrogen cycle and also as a sustainable food model for my biology classes. Just wanted to bring an update and show you how well it's doing. <coughs> this, this is all lettuce you see right here. All the way through there. It's grown very, very well. Uh, it looks kind of thin right now, but if you look real close, you can see where my students have been picking lettuce and putting on their sandwiches at lunchtime. So that's why I thought I'd bring it this video done quick before they have it all ate up. Here it is. Basically what I got. I got a stand. How well you can see that stand. Fish tank on the bottom, plumbed up to a Rubbermaid tote, a set of grow lights, <coughs> plenty of room for growth if I wanted to grow something like tomatoes. I found that lettuce is about the easiest thing to grow in this. Quick turnaround, and it works well with the kids. Uh, down here are my fish. Let me grab some fish food here. Let me get them to come up to the top. Okay, so here's the fish. These are hybrid bluegill in the tank. They're growing pretty good. Not as quick as a tilapia would, but nevertheless, they are growing pretty well. See up underneath here, you can see my plumbing. I had to use some Insta Seal stuff to seal off a little, some little uh, leaks that I had. There's my drain pipe, my pumping tube, and standby fail safe drain tube. Then comes back down to the tank. This thing's been up and running for about six weeks. You can see how clear that tank water is. <coughs> you can see how well that lettuce has grown in six weeks time the package actually said six weeks to maturity 45 days and they hit it right on the money uh, here's my bell siphon I tell you I've had a lot of problems with this bell siphon you can ask my students I have worked and worked and worked to try to perfect this thing one thing I found uh, with this siphon um, that tube right here, this snorkel tube, has got to be fairly large. I had a small um, air pump diameter snorkel tube, and it just kept flattening out. It just it wasn't the sides weren't rigid enough to keep that um, action going. And what I had, I never really had a problem with it kicking off and draining. What I had a problem with was it um, the siphon to kick off and quit. And it would just drain and drain and drain and drain. So, uh, my aquaponics unit at home was much bigger. And I had no problem. With just a plain old bell, no snorkel. Works great. But I have fought and fought. And this is what I've come up with. And it works. So, we're not going to do anything else. It's actually getting ready to drain right now. Kick it in. Much heavier. A little jiggle here. Here it comes. And it's up. <coughs> One thing I would change with this indoor setup are these lights. I have three gray lights here from. One's from Lowe's and two are from Walmart. And I simply got these because they were cheap, 10 bucks a piece. And two of them didn't suffice. The plants just got too leggy. They just kept reaching for a light, it wasn't enough. So I added that middle one, the third one, and still yet, these lights are never this high from those plants. I just did that for the video purpose. 
normally these lights are clear down right above the plant because otherwise they just start stretching for that light <coughs> uh, if I do another one of these I will definitely have a professional grow light from um, I don't know it won't be from Walmart I'll tell you that <laughs> uh, or Lowe's these are just I thought I was taking the cheap route and doing all right and that's exactly what it turned out to be too cheap so I think you can get a professional light I saw and I think the farm tech catalog for about 60 bucks and I've got thirty dollars invested in that so I wish I just went with a, a better light to start with but all in all it's working out great uh, lettuce is very tasty students are loving it so, so there you have it my indoor aquaponics setup